What's up guys, Kid Coder here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android x86 on your PC, and um, I got an Android thing right here, this is my wallpaper, funny you should know, I love Android, so let me go to Android, Android x86.org right here. I'm going to go to this page, hit download, and scroll down until you see 4.4, this latest version. Android 5.0 has came out, hasn't came out yet, you have to wait. So, um, download the latest RC, it's a revision, click on view, it's going to take you to SourceForge. And it is downloading. Okay, it's downloading right now. So, we got some ads. Okay, that's better. Okay, um, I'm not gonna let you sit down and wait for this whole thing, so I'm gonna pause it right now. Okay, so while that download's going, why don't we set up a virtual box um, thing? So go to virtualbox.org. Okay, so you get to the website, you hit on download. And, um, choose one depending upon your operating system. I'm running Windows, so you click on Windows. If you're running Mac OS X, you click on OS X. If you're running Win Linux, you go to Linux. You click on Linux, and it will show you which one you want. Because Linux has multiple distributions. And you have Solaris. Host. You can also get an extension pack unless you want to get um, USB drivers, um, you know, VGA, um, no, sorry, IDE, v um, SATA ports, you know, all the ports available, extra features. You can download that. The latest version is not on, so just type in the latest version on Google and you should find something from like download.com or something. Um, so yeah, you get this, welcome to VirtualBox, you hit new, and you're going to be choosing Linux, and then you're going to go to other, which is 32-bit, as you can see, and then you're going to type in Android, Android. You can type in whatever name you want. Don't put Android because you know it's Android. You can allocate it to the max available. Hit next. Create a virtual hard drive. And I recommend VDI because then it does it doesn't st it basically builds up on memory. If you choose virtual hard disk, basically what happens is it just takes how much memory you allocate it to. It basically takes that much memory off your hard drive. So I recommend VDI. Um, dynamically allocated. You, you don't want it to be fixed. You want it to be dynamically allocated. So it doesn't take the full amount of memory you're going to be using. It just allocate, just keeps building up. So I have... I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this 100 gigabytes. Let's do 224. Right now. 248. That's better. That's good. Okay, um, so 
So it creates the operating system for you. Um, you don't want to go into settings. Um, make sure. All right. USB tablet. Make sure that is it. Because um, this this device does not support that. You can add as many processors you want. But you have to keep in mind if you have to turn on IO APIC APIC for to add multiple processors. I do recommend adding multiple processors because then it ups your speed, obviously, and ups your video memory to as max as possible so you don't get lag. Um you can enable 3D acceleration if you're gonna play like a 3D game on it. It'll work. Now you cannot enable 2D acceleration because it doesn't work. It only works for Windows. Um, it's just a thing that's kind of weird. So anyway, you got the Android VDI. Um, we're gonna add that disc later once the downloads complete. Um, choose Windows Direct Sound. That's how it works. And. Intel HD audio. Um, do a bridged adapter, and I'm gonna do a Wi-Fi adapter. If you have Wi-Fi, I recommend it. And another one, and I'm gonna do another bridge adapter, and I'm gonna do it for my LAN. So you have Wi-Fi and LAN. Okay, I recommend using Wi-Fi if you're gonna use Android, because then the applications will realize there's Wi-Fi here. Then that means first you can run um, apps that need Wi-Fi because if you only use internet, it does. Some of the applications don't recognize internet. It it just thinks, oh, you're not connected to Wi-Fi, such as Google Play Store. Um, you can add serial ports, but Android does not support serial ports. If you want to put a USB controller, you like I said earlier, you have to get the virtual box extension pack now check what version it is 4.3.2.8 oh, okay four point 3.2.2.8.8, right? 2 and 8, okay. Enter. One second. Okay. Oh, these stupid ads. Okay, um. There you go. Here we go. I found it. Okay. I saw the wrong one. That's, that's 2.6. I need 2.8. Okay, so you want to look for it. Okay, this is in another language. I'm just going to go download. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay. So let let that download. It's going really fast. Five seconds. Okay. Okay, it's done. Come on. Okay. So now, once you see now, what you want to do is you want to go in your folders, download, and activate this. Make sure this application is open.
okay, just hit, you know, install it, and let it install. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to delete all this. Okay. One second. Having technical difficulties. Okay, that sounded so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, um. So now, if you enable this, this should work. And you should get your USB devices as you please. And Android should be almost complete. One minute. Okay, let me go over some other things while that's going. Let's see here. Um, you can add a description. Okay. That is the most. That is the most. You know, easiest thing to do. Um. You can use a network. So, um, you don't want floppy, you want CD to boot up first, then you want the hard disk. That's how it's going to be. You don't want any of these other ones. Um, that's one thing to remember. Okay, you can enable a server for this, um, but, you know, Android does not support servers, so don't do it. You can do video capture if you want to record video on this, um, which I won't because it doesn't have a um, supported thing I would use. Okay, um, Okay, um, I do not, um, you can do SATA connection, but I'm going to leave it at IDE connection, just because I don't want to, you know, tinker with a lot of, okay, it's done. So, once you're done with your settings, we'll go back into settings again, you want to click on empty disk, and hit choose a virtual hard drive, hard disk. And I have this, so, okay, and you're going to hit start. Hold on one second, I'm going to scale it. Okay, so you're going to get this screen right now. Let me just, I'm just making this thing bigger. That should be better. Okay. What? Okay. So you want to go to installation. Okay. So then you want to create modify and hit new and hit primary and then um you you can copy you can try choose how much megabytes you want and then you want to hit go down and hit right and then type in yes hit enter and it's gonna write the partition so okay so um So now, you're going to go to right, enter, and hit yes, hit enter again, and 
Now you're gonna hit quit. And click, you're gonna click on land. Okay, so you're gonna click on SD. You're gonna click on the partition you want, and you're gonna choose. Extension 3. Yes. Okay, it's formatting, so this will take a little bit of time. Okay, so now it's asking to install the bootloader Grub. So, yes, or GRUB. Um, yes again. And it's going to write, so I'm going to pause this again, and I'll come back later. Okay, so now it's asking to run, and you're going to hit OK. Wait, no, sorry. Now exit it out, so power off. I forgot, it's, uh, I said run, but I meant to say reboot, so sorry about that. Okay. Oh yeah. Close it out. Sorry. You want to hit power off. When it's when it's gonna restart. Now you're gonna go back into settings. You're gonna go into system. And you're gonna uncheck floppy. You're gonna uncheck CD DVD. You're gonna check network. You're gonna hit OK. And you're gonna hit start again. Hit switch. and hit enter and it's booting up I'm going to pause it right now, and I'll come back to you when it's done booting. Okay, so um, now, basically what you have to do is go into Machine, and hit Disable Mouse Integration, and then click on it, and hit Capture, and your mouse is going to turn black. And choose English, hit the Next button, it's going to say just a sec. Okay, um, so it is loading, let me go pause this real quick, okay, so um, now it's asking for the Wi-Fi, so you're just going to hit skip, skip anyway. Okay, so now it's asking for the Google account. So you're gonna hit yes. And it's gonna ask you to sign in, so um I'm gonna pause right now. And so I don't wanna show my information. Okay, so now it's asking for Google services. Just hit the down arrow and hit next. Not now. If you wanna add your credit card, you can hit Yes, but not now. Yes, that's my name. Okay, well done. So 
this is Android 4.4. Um, we go into settings. And, um, hold on one second. You go into about tablet. You have 4.4.2. If you try to update it, it doesn't update. Just saying that. So, now, if you go into the Play Store, we're going to download a game. Hmm. Now, this is rooted, so you can download some rooted apps. Like, um, well, let me just show you what's rooted. We'll just find some rude apps. You can change your boot animation, that does work. Um, I'm going to download one rooted app. Okay, one So, let's say I want to add a boot animation. What did this one? See, super users asking for it. So now, if I preview my current, as you can see, it works. Um, yeah. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you guys know more about Android. Um, I can also show you how to run Android on your iOS devices if you want. That is a thing I can do. I know how to do it. So, anyway, guys. Um, by the way, one more thing. I highly recommend you do this. Every time you turn on your Android device, you want to hit rotation lock. Because if it's stuck on the right rotation, you're stuck on that rotation until you open an app that's in the other location. So make sure that's always locked. And when you're done, just swipe this down and hit power off. Okay, so that's it. Um, I will show you some other things, like you can add uh, more adapters if you want. Let's say I want to add another adapter, and it's that one. I could do that.
you cannot see on your port, you can enable USB. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. And like this, comment, subscribe. You know, do all the things you want to do. That's it. Bye.